Hello guys, in this video, let's understand the steps to configure authorization in our ASP.NET Core web app. So first quick recap, that is what we want to implement. So again, we have this ASP.NET Core web app and it will have two HTML pages that is index.cshtml and admin.cshtml. So we will create two roles that is one is basic user and another is admin user and the user with basic user role okay he will be able to access only this index.cshtml page and the user with this role that is admin user he will be able to access both the pages that is index index.cshtml and admin.cshtml so that is our requirement and now let us discuss this app registration and enterprise applications okay guys again we have this Azure tenant right and again under this we created users so let's say we created two users one is say John and another is Mark and we also created app registration as well that is we added app okay so let's say that is our app registration or i will say app right and this app it has something called app id which corresponds to our asp.net core web app which is running in visual studio and for which we have added azure ad authentication okay so guys this is nothing but app registration okay now actually when we created a app in this tenant actually two entries got created one is this app registration and another is service principal object okay and that service principal object it got created under enterprise applications okay so again this is our app registration and it has app id but for this same app another entry also got created okay so let's say this is my enterprise application see guys again observe this box it is enterprise applications okay i will write it enterprise apps so within this enterprise applications another entry for this app okay it, it also got created right so this is an entry for app okay so this is also app so again one entry is this one that is it is app registration and another entry under enterprise apps that is this so this also represents app okay so this entry that is app registration you can consider it as something called summary or it's a template so it's a summary or template of our app and this entry of that app under of that same app under enterprise applications you can consider it as an implementation of that app. So, we will say implementation of that app. Okay. So, in this app registration, that is in summary, we can create master roles. So, for example, we will create two master roles over here, that is basic user and admin user but when we want to assign these master roles to users okay we will assign it under enterprise apps under that applications so under this we will assign those roles to the users so again two entries are created for a app that is one is app registration and another is one uh, that is it's a service principal object under enterprise applications and now let's go back to our ppt again so again if you see when we create app two entries are created one is application itself that is app registration and another is service principal object that is under enterprise applications so under app registration we will create master roles and under service principal object we will assign these roles to the user and again guys see user are in tenant and not in application okay now as per our requirement of course we will create these two master roles that is basic user and admin user and again we will create it under app registration and 
we will assign these roles to respective users and again we will assign these roles under enterprise applications so again john will be our basic user and mark phillips he will be our admin user okay and then we will make necessary code changes in visual studio so that this authorization is handled in our application okay so that's it guys this video was just a summary of steps which we are going to implement and now let's implement this authorization in our next video thank you